Welcome back. Helen O'Grady, a drama academy, recently had their workshop at Margao. Helen O'Grady, the Australian Institute, has come up with the total package of personal development of a child in this competitive world through drama. This is the first time Margao is hosting this workshop. This academy has started their workshop in Goa from last year. Child's personality is developed here through drama. All the factors like speech, English vocabulary, expressions and presentations are taken into consideration. Children from age group of 3 and a half to 18 years have participated in this workshop. Banana ice cream. Yummy, yum, yum. Children through mime drama were taught to express themselves with help of action and movements. <laughs> Our reporter from Madgao, Samir Bhatt. Now news from sports. Goa showed plenty of promise but in the end Southern Railway proved too strong for them on Monday at the ongoing All India Volleyball Tournament organized by Wildred Leisure Sports Club at St. Alex Church Ground at Kurtori. In another match, Bharat Petroleum defeated Punjab Police. Revenue Minister Jose Philip de Souza and Kutori MLA Regina Lawrence wished both teams success before the match. Goa gave a good account of themselves before succumbing to the might of the railwaymen. Southern Railway won 25-21, 25-15, 25-21. Here are the highlights of the game. Our reporter from Kutori, Ramesh Naik Raut. Salgaku Sports Club have taken a slender lead against GCA Colts on the first day of the three-day Super League cricket final at Panjim Gymkhana Ground. Electing to bat first on winning the toss, GCA Colts were bowled out for just 102 runs in 55.1 overs. Ilyas Naru remained not out with 42 runs. He hit 5 fours and 1 six. Other players to get into double figures were Ryan Souza with 13 runs, Suraj Dongre and Vaibhav Naik scored 10 runs each. Sargaukar pacer Robin Disoza was the chief destroyer of the GCA Colts innings. Robin took 4 wickets for 32 runs. Rupesh Sarvankar and Sher Bahadur Yadav claimed 2 wickets apiece. Sargaukar ended the day on 115 runs for the loss of 6 wickets in 30 overs. The Vasco-based club will resume their innings with a lead of 13 runs. Rupesh Sarvankar made 45 runs at the top of the order. Along with Sagun Kamat, who scored a brisk 33 runs, Rupesh gave a good start to the Salgaukar inning playing fine shots. Together, they put up 59 runs in the opening partnership. Salgaukar, however, lost wickets at regular interval after that. Rahul Kenny with 10 and Mohsin Dodia on 3 were the not-out batsmen at the draw of stumps. For GCA Colts, Ryan D'Souza and Amit Yadav were the most successful bowlers, taking two wickets each. 
और उन वाक जी पिक वन विकेट और रिपोर्टर लौकिक शिलकर एंड वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट सनी नार्वेकर फ्रॉम पणजी लेट्स लुक एट द हेडलाइंस वंस अगेन मॉस्को पुलिस मिस ऑन द ट्रक डिटेन माय हिंदुस्तान पेट्रोलियम फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट्स इलीगली ट्रक गोज मिसिंग फ्रॉम द पुलिस सर्वेलेंस माइनर जर्मन गर्ल अलेजेस गोवा पुलिस ऑफ ब्रेकिंग हर एल्बो इन एन इंटरव्यू टू पीटीआई शी सेज दैट पुलिस ट्रॉमेटाइज्ड हर टू से व्हाट दे वांटेड हर टू से state authorities are prepared to avoid spread of swine flu in goa and india isolation ward to be set up at chikali health center official says goans need not worry about the flu a prudent media special on what precautions to take to avoid outbreak of the flu goa go down after promising start southern railway and bharat petroleum win their games at all india volleyball Ansel Gaukar Sports Club take lead after GCA Colts fight back on first day of Super League cricket final. And with this we come to an end of this newscast. Keep watching Prudent Media.